Hello, I'm Grandmaster Tejun Lee. I've had the fortunate opportunity to teach uh, young children for the past 30 years and, and also have uh, dealt with uh, thousands of parents as well. Um, and I hope that the things that I've learned uh, in dealing with children will help you better raise your children. One of the things that's most difficult for, for parents to do uh, or as teachers is to watch your children uh, you know, go through hardship or make mistakes or fall down. Um, I want to use this saying uh, from the popular film, Batman Begins, um, where the father uh, asked Bruce, his son, Bruce, why do we fall? Uh, and basically the lesson is, uh, you fall so you can get up again, so you can learn to rise again. So without making mistakes or errors, they cannot learn what not to do. So as much as they learn, as much as you have to teach your children what to do, they must also learn what not to do. So you must give them enough space to make the mistake. You know your child, they're gonna do whatever and they might fall and get hurt. But by that lesson, they're going to learn not to do it again. Obviously, this is not to say, you know, they're reaching for a hot stove or a pan and you let them do it. Of course not. But in little things that's a little more minor and that's not gonna cause that kind of severe injury, you need to watch them and let and leave them alone to make that mistake and and then once they do then pick them up and tell them see what happens johnny if you do this like that look what happens did you learn something and teach them a valuable lesson this is the most effective way for a student to learn you know it's just like uh, for us uh, we have many students when the intermediate advanced level and they learn you know to strike to the head a head target is legal for sparring and we might tell them a thousand times keep your hands up but the one time they get hit in the head they, <laughs> you don't need to tell them again they'll you know keep the hand up glued to their face you must not smother them and try to protect them from everything they must learn how to fall so they can avoid falling again. Also by them learning how to fall, they're learning how to get up. What does that mean? You're teaching them resilience. You're teaching them perseverance. You're teaching them that it's okay that you fall down, that you make a mistake or you error. What is important is that you rise again, you try again. Uh, so it would be a terrible thing, just as an example, you know, if a child, you teach them how to ride a bike, and in riding the bike, you know, they get it a little bit and they fall down, and they might get a bruise or hurt their leg, or maybe even break their leg. And then you pull them aside, and then you never have them get back on the bike again. What you must do right away is get them on the bike. Uh, aside from having a broken leg, if they fall down, got a scratch, or they're crying, you should put them right up on the bike again and have them ride and end with a positive note. Uh, that is one of the most important things. I make sure that when I teach my students here also is that when they're doing a technique is that they might have trouble the entire day uh, with a particular kick or whatever it is. But I make a note to end that lesson when they do a technique well and then I end it with that positive note, even though they made maybe hundreds of mistakes before. Very important that you do that. And that way you're teaching them that yes, falling, by falling, you learn to get up, do it again, and by continuing to persevere, that they will succeed.